Hi, my name is April Earhart. I'm the Director of University Events at American Military University and American Public University. We're so excited for y'all to join in the virtual celebration today. And while we're sad that we couldn't celebrate in person, we hope to see y'all in 2021. Y'all enjoy the virtual celebration and everybody have a great day. Congratulations, you, you did, did it! Hi, this is Allison Becker. I am the Program Director for Legal Studies, Public Administration, and Public Policy. And I'm just here to congratulate all you graduates. What a fascinating time, and I wish you all the best. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful graduation day. Hello, Class of 2020. I'm Callie Morrison, Associate Dean of Alternative Learning, and I just want to wish you a hearty congratulations on all of your accomplishments and wish you the best as you go out into the world as new alumni of American Military University and American Public University. Cheers! Class of 2020, I'm Carolyn Tadero with your Academic Advising Department. I wanted to hop on and say a big congratulations. We are so proud of you for accomplishing this huge goal. We know it takes a lot of dedication uh, to make it through your program. We couldn't be prouder. Congratulations. Hi everyone, congratulations Class of 2020 from the Faculty in the Health Administration Department. We are so excited to celebrate with you virtually on the 16th and then in person in 2021. We know how hard you worked for this and are so proud of your accomplishments. Uh, please go find a way to celebrate this special occasion. Until then, congratulations again, and we look forward to celebrating with you on the 16th. I'm Krista Boyd, Manager of University Events. The events team would like to wish the Class of 2020 a huge congratulations on your achievement. We wish that we could be with you in person this year, but we are celebrating you at a distance. We wish you all the best and good luck. Congratulations, Class of 2020. This is a great accomplishment and we are so very proud of you. Hi, I'm Haley Hawthorne, University Events Coordinator. And while I'm really sorry we were unable to celebrate with you in person this year, I wanted to wish each of our graduates a happy graduation and tell you all, job well done. Hi, APIS graduates. This is Heather Dobby from the Academic Advising Team here at the University. I'm just reaching out today to let you know that I'm just so proud of all of your hard work and dedication throughout your programs. This is truly a huge success, uh, one that you should be very proud of. It's taken a lot of time, commitment, and perseverance to get to this point. So congratulate yourself, pat yourself on the back, and celebrate. This weekend is yours and it's well-deserved. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye, guys. Congratulations, AMU and APU graduates! We couldn't be more excited for you. And although this is not the commencement ceremony you were probably hoping for, it's the day you deserve, so do something fun to celebrate. Congratulations! Congrats. Congratulations, class of 2020, from your STEM advising team. Woo, congratulations! Yay! Hi, this is Kristen with the Academic Advising Team for the School of Health Sciences. I just want to say congratulations to the class of 2020. Uh, you guys managed to persevere during a very uh, odd time in the world. And so you definitely deserve it. Uh, two thumbs up. And um, I hope that you enjoy your ceremony this weekend. Congratulations, guys. 
Congratulations, graduates of AMU and APU. You did it! I'm Megan Hickson, I work in admissions, so I work with students every day who are at the very start of the process. And I want you to remember for a second, there's times when you would call in and you would ask, you know, um, I haven't been back to school in over 20 years. How can I be successful? I've never done online learning. Where are my books? Um, and you did it. You got through all of that. You figured it out. You learned what a discussion board post was and you did countless of them. Congratulations. I know the celebration will be a little bit different this year, but that does not negate all the hard work you have done. You spent years prioritizing family, work, um, school, and you got to the end. I hope you're able to take some time and celebrate you. Congratulations. Hey guys, it's Melanie Connor from Student Alumni Affairs. I work primarily with our alumni community and I wanted to say congratulations, you did it. We are so proud of you and we can't wait to celebrate you on Saturday at the virtual commencement and next year in person. Woo -woo. Congrats, bye guys. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. Your advising team is proud of you. Hello, STEM graduates. Congratulations on attaining your academic goal. I'm proud of you for having enrolled in a degree program and successfully completing it. A global pandemic is a strange time to be living in. Were not for it, we would be together in person to celebrate your achievement. Nonetheless, the education you have acquired will serve you well throughout your journey. Education is wealth that no one can take away from you. So as you graduate into a challenging economy, be confident that you have the wherewithal to navigate it successfully. APUS and the School of STEM are here for you. Whether you want to acquire more education or want to remain in touch with your fellow students and faculty via our alumni programs and student clubs. So stay in touch. And again, congratulations and best wishes. Hello, my name is Dr. Brian Freeland, and I'm the Dean of the School of Health Sciences. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we are unable to host commencement in person this year. Even though we cannot be together in person, we can certainly still celebrate. I am honored and proud to congratulate all of our graduates from our variety of health sciences degrees. I encourage each and every one of you to take advantage of your opportunity to help shape, change, and improve healthcare and health-related challenges facing our society through the knowledge and experiences you gained through your academic journey. I also encourage you to be lifelong learners and consider coming back for additional degrees and learning opportunities in the future. Please stay connected through our amazing alumni programs. And lastly, to the class of 2020, on behalf of our faculty and program directors, I would like to congratulate you on your academic achievement. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm Dr. Chuck Russo, Program Director and Professor of Criminal Justice at American Military University and American Public University. I wanted to wish each of you who are in your associate's degree, your bachelor's degree, and your master's degree a well-deserved congratulations. Earning your degree demonstrates that you've not just developed critical thinking and problem-solving skills, but you've also set a personal goal and completed that goal. Again, congratulations, class of 2020. Well deserved. Hi everyone, my name is Michelle Watts from the School of Security and Global Studies. Congratulations on your achievement and being part of the class of 2020. Please stay safe and we hope to see you next year. Oh, hey there. It's uh, really good to see you or rather to be seen by you. Um, I'm Dr. Conrad Lotze. I'm the Dean of the School of Education and I want to congratulate you on your wonderful achievement. Um, it's too bad that we can't all be together to celebrate, um, but on behalf of the faculty and the program directors and the wonderful support staff here at the School of Education, I want to congratulate you on this momentous milestone. It really um, warms my heart and I'm truly proud of everything that you've accomplished. And I know that you'll do great work as you go forth into this world and help care for our most precious resource, our children. Thanks for choosing APUS. 
um, for your journey. And please know that we will be here should you uh, decide that you're ready for additional um, educational opportunities. Um, also know that uh, you're welcome to stay in touch. You're now part of a rather large alumni um, association with over 80,000 students worldwide. Um, please keep in touch. We'd love to hear from you, know about your successes and what's going on in your world. Um, again, congratulations and have a wonderful day. I'm Dr. Grace Glass, Dean of the School of Arts and Humanities at APUS. I just want to say congratulations for your accomplishment. It's a huge milestone to graduate with your BA or your AA. And with your major in Liberal Arts and Humanities, you are prepared with critical thinking skills, with writing skills, with communication skills for a wide variety of careers. You're all an inspiration and you should be proud of yourselves. Hey class of 2020, as a member of the university's advising department, I want to congratulate you on your accomplishment. You set your sight on a goal and you made it happen and I am so proud of you for that. I'm also a graduate of the 2020 class and just like you, I'm bummed that I'm not going to be able to see and meet you this year. But I am looking forward to 2021 and regardless, I am so happy that we are able to celebrate virtually with each other. Congratulations. We did it and go celebrate. Hi, this is Janet in the Office of Student Alumni Affairs. I just wanted to send a quick congratulatory message to the class of 2020. We're real sorry we can't be with you in person to celebrate, but that doesn't mean we're not celebrating your successes and graduation this year. Congrats. Hey, class of 2020, this is Dr. Jeff Gardner, and I just want to say congratulations and best wishes. Hi, this is Jennifer Douglas, the Dean of Graduate Studies and Research at AMU and APU. Congratulations to all of our graduates this year. You're an inspiration to all of us for your hard work and balancing school with your careers and families. This is not the end of your educational path. Continue learning new skills, whether for your career or for your personal development. If you're graduating with an undergraduate degree, I hope to see you in a graduate program soon at AMU and APU. Congratulations again for receiving your degree. Hey, this is Mike Thorny Thornall, instructor at APU. I've taught several classes here, uh, HLS S211, EDMG 230, 220, 259, 330, 340, um, 420, and 498. So I probably missed one or two, but anyway, I'm down at the beach. I um, want to congratulate all you for your, your hard work and your dedication and get through this milestone. So I'm down at the beach. This is where I like to hang out. When the, there's my flags. I got the American, the Ole Miss, and the Florida State. And there's my boat out there somewhere. There it is. There's my boat back there. So, and there's our house right up here. So, anyway, this is where I like to chill. So, congratulations to you all and good luck in your future endeavors. Take care. On behalf of the university outreach teams, to the class of 2020, we would like to say congratulations. congratulations. I want to give a huge shout out and congratulations to all of our graduates. I am sorry we're not going to see you this year in person, but I hope to see you all in 2021. Um, such a great accomplishment. So again, congratulations. This is Kevin Taylor with the School of Homeland Security. and want to salute each and every one of you for the professionalism and dedication you have exhibited regarding your education. Now I realize your graduation and commencement is not what you had envisioned. 
certainly a unique period in time, but it also reflects the unique qualities and traits that each of you possesses. So I wish you nothing but the best as you move forward in your education or careers and appreciate all that you do for our country and your fellow man. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You should be proud of yourself as well as your accomplishments. Through the late nights, endless exams, challenges as well as obstacles, you can say that you have made it. Some may say that we are headed for some uncertain times. However, let me assure you, you can make it. Dare to dream, set your sights high, Make a difference in your communities as well as your workplace. You are the game changers. Now it's time for you to go out and make your mark. Hello, School of Security and Global Studies Class of 2020, and congratulations on the achievement that we are celebrating today. I wish I could be with you today to shake your hand as you walk across the stage, but these past few months have been a challenge for all of us. And many of you are on the front lines of this battle, be it in emergency management, law enforcement, military support to civilian authorities, and other first responders. I hope to see some of you at graduation next year, or perhaps in the classroom, should you decide to pursue another degree at an outstanding university. Please stay connected through our amazing alumni affairs group and see if there is some way for you to become involved with other alumni. I wish you all the success in whatever path you are following and hope that our paths intersect at some point in the future. Hey all you cool cats and kittens. My name is Robin Rother. Not only am I a staff member here at the university, but I'm also a 2018 grad of AMU. Now I just wanted to say congratulations on reaching this finish line. Let's relish in the fact that your form postings are done, your papers are turned in, and now is the time to celebrate. I know this is not the commencement you were anticipating, but know that we've done our best to celebrate you virtually. We are all in this together and we're here for you as a university and can't wait to see what you do next. So congratulations, you deserve this and should be proud of yourselves and please enjoy your day. Bye. Congratulations to each of you on this extraordinary accomplishment. I'm Angie Selden, CEO of APEI. You represent the future of our nation by demonstrating that education, when accessible to all, can change the life trajectory of individuals and families. In today's troubled world, it has never been more important to give every individual the chance to improve their life. I do wish that we would have had the opportunity to meet in person. I hope to see each of you next year instead. Please stay in touch. I can't wait to hear what your future holds. Again, congratulations. We are proud to have assisted you in making your purpose possible. Good morning. I'm Dr. Vernon Smith, Provost of the American Public University System. And it is my great pleasure to conduct this celebration today. Welcome, Class of 2020, to your virtual commencement ceremony. Each year we celebrate our graduating class. And even though this year we can't be together, we can still find great joy in recognizing each of you wherever you may be. We hope you're able to celebrate this amazing accomplishment virtually today, and when it's safe, 
We hope you'll celebrate again in person with all your family and friends. Our university's mission has always been to educate and support those who serve. In the past few weeks and months, it's been challenging for our nation and the world. We know that many of you are at home today with your families, but many of you are also on the front lines working in the healthcare field, deployed, delivering critical supplies and materials, and taking care of those that are ill and recovering. We applaud you during these hard times. It's because of your commitment to service that we continue to be inspired to fulfill our mission. We have a wonderful celebration planned for you today to include inspirational speeches from our president, Dr. Wallace Boston, and speeches from your classmates, Ms. Dominique Williams and Mr. Aaron Rios. Every year, I look forward to these words of wisdom that are shared with our graduates on the way to the next chapter in their lives, and this year is no different. We may be celebrating differently, but I can assure you that the messages are no less inspiring and heartfelt. I would also like to introduce our distinguished colleagues that attend commencement every year. They're rooting for you from their homes today and wanted me to pass along their heartfelt congratulations. First, members of our Board of Trustees. Chair of our Board of Trustees, General Alfred Gray. Vice Chair, Lieutenant General Thomas Conant. University President, Dr. Wallace Boston. Lieutenant General David Huntoon. Dr. Lucy Lepofsky. Dr. Katie Marie. Dr. J.D. Polk. Colonel Kim Ward. Ms. Angela Selden. Dr. Catherine Zatz, Member Emeritus. Franklin Ball III, Member Emeritus. Lieutenant Colonel James Herhusky, Member Emeritus. And Lieutenant General Richard Treffrey, Member Emeritus. Next, members of our Board of Directors. Chair of our Board of Directors, Major General Barbara Fast. Ms. Angela Selden. Mr. Eric Anderson, Dr. Wallace Boston, Ms. Jean Halley, Dr. Barbara Kershon, Mr. Timothy Landon, and Mr. William Robinson, Jr. In addition, our deans, directors, faculty, and staff are sending you congratulations. They join us every year at commencement in support of our graduating class, and today, they're posting those messages on our AMU and APU social media pages for you to view as you celebrate this milestone. In addition to the support you receive from the university, we hope you'll take some time today to thank those around you, those that have helped you achieve this accomplishment. It takes a great deal of dedication on your part to complete a college degree, but it also takes a great deal of love and support in order for this milestone to be reached. Today, please take a moment to thank those spouses, loved ones, parents, children, and friends for their support. Without them, you may not be here. In addition to thanking those that have supported you, we hope you will take the time to engage online with all those across the world and the university today. You can do so in several ways. Right now, you can view and share a special video clip of you this clip is made for sharing, and we want you to celebrate this accomplishment and shout it from the rooftops. Each of you can visit our Graduate Clip website and view your photo clip, and then easily share it on social media so all your friends and family members can celebrate with you today virtually. Also, at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Dr. Wallace Boston, will turn the tassel and formally confer all of our class of 2020 graduates. You can find this video on our commencement website and it will be shared on the AMU and APU Facebook pages. Even though we can't be together today, we hope that you enjoy this virtual commencement. 
Additionally, all class of 2020 graduates are invited to attend the class of 2021 ceremony on May 22nd, 2021. So save the date. We promise it will be a special event for both graduating classes. Next, please join me for Dr. Wallace Boston's presidential address, along with your class speakers. I encourage each of you to take full advantage of this celebration. This is a momentous occasion and accomplishment. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. Good morning. On behalf of the American Public University System and its Board of Trustees, I extend a hearty virtual welcome to the members of this year's graduating class and all of our honored guests. While I am grateful the technology has enabled us to host a ceremony like this, I also reiterate my invitation to the class of 2020 to attend next year's in-person graduation ceremony with the class of 2021 as well. The famous phrase, may you live in interesting times, may have never been as understated before as it is now. For those of you attending your first APUS commencement, I would like to provide you with a little background on our university. In January of 1993, American Military University accepted its first cohort of 18 students, all seeking a master's degree in military studies. The internet was still in its infancy, so our first courses were delivered via UPS, Federal Express, or the U.S. Postal Service to all of our students with a box of materials, including all the textbooks for the course, a syllabus listing the assignments and due dates, as well as instructions for how to call or email their professor once a week. Over the next 27 years, our courses evolved as improvements in technology enabled the development of electronic learning management systems for classroom content and assignments, telephone modem access to broadband for faster online connection speeds, ebooks, software simulations, etc. AMU continued to change also by offering additional graduate and undergraduate degrees, and in 2002, we established the American Public University System, adding American Public University as a sister institution to AMU. We grew from one degree and 18 students to 125 degrees and more than 82,000 students. I am proud to have worked with our faculty and staff over the past 17 years to earn your respect and a reputation as one of the top online universities in the United States, operating with a passionate focus on student success, quality, and affordability. Today, 13,800 graduate students are pursuing studies in 46 different degree programs, ranging from the original military studies to business administration, management, intelligence studies, sports and health sciences, homeland security, psychology, and environmental policy and management. With the launch of our two doctoral programs in January 2018, 78 of those graduate students are on their way to becoming our first doctoral graduates. As well, nearly 69,000 students are pursuing studies in 79 undergraduate degree programs, ranging from criminal justice, business administration and management, intelligence studies, sports and health sciences, psychology, homeland security, transportation and logistics, environmental science, and more. To our newly accomplished graduates all over the world, welcome to membership in our Alumni Association, over 98,000 strong. Those of you attending virtually represent 3,219 individuals who earn master's degrees and 9,685 who earn bachelor's and associate's degrees over the past 12 months. Clearly, your paths and time to complete your degrees differ from person to person, but in many cases, your drive and determination to complete your degree were boosted by the cooperation and understanding of your family, and we applaud them for their sacrifice and their encouragement. The technology that enabled you to complete your studies online with us throughout your educational journey is also the technology that has accelerated many changes in our society particularly related to jobs and careers. There's probably no better example than the current coronavirus pandemic. When our non-essential businesses reopen, many of them will likely provide enhanced online and automated services, in some cases to be better prepared for a similar incident in the future. Your choice of continuing and completing your education online enabled many of you to gain an education while working 
regardless of your location around the world. Whether you choose to continue with your studies and or continue to acquire knowledge and your expertise through your career and other experiences, take advantage and leverage your education. In his latest book, A World Without Work, author Daniel Susskin writes that people who continue to combine lifelong learning experiences with work and skills experience will enhance their ability to adapt to changes in technology in the workforce. The more skills that you acquire that are non-routine and complementary to machines, the better. Our job as educators has been to prepare you to learn, accept and embrace the non-routine, which will require moving in and out of education throughout the rest of your careers. Many of our faculty are duly qualified as academic and professional industry experts. We believe that their expertise and knowledge enhance your ability to apply your learning towards your chosen career. Your role as our graduates will be to continue to learn, leverage your skills and experiences, and actively participate in those challenges with your colleagues, friends, and family. It won't be easy, but most of you have proven that you could earn a college degree while working full-time and providing for not only yourself, but a spouse and family. Lastly, I would be remiss if I did not thank you for your many contributions to our country. Many of you have served and continue to serve our country as members of our military service branches. Others have served and continue to serve in law enforcement, fire safety, emergency management, and other federal, state, and local government roles. Some of you are frontline healthcare providers and others are teachers and coaches. You have stepped up and faced many challenges and I salute you for your experiences and endeavors outside of the classroom. All of you have taken a big step through your education and positioning yourselves for the changes that will occur in a world where the pace and breadth of technology is exponentially increasing. I congratulate you, wish you the best of luck in all your future endeavors, and thank you for choosing us as your university. It's been my pleasure to serve you as APUS president since 2004. As we progress to the part of our virtual ceremony where we announce your name as you walk across the stage to receive your diploma, I envision your bright smiles, your proud strides across the stage in your cap and gown or uniform, and the moment where I congratulate you with a handshake and sometimes a hug. Those are memories I will never forget. On behalf of all of us at the American Military University and American Public University, I extend a toast to your continued success and the next leg of your career and educational journey. Cheers. Thank you, President Boston. Next, I'd like to welcome the class of 2020 graduate class speaker, Ms. Dominique Williams. Dominique was born in Haiti, but moved to the United States in 1999. She has a Bachelor of Science in Human Environmental Sciences from the University of Missouri, and recently completed her Master of Science in Sports and Health Sciences with American Military University. She and her husband currently reside in Colleen, Texas with their German short-haired pointer, Theo. Dominique currently serves as a Battalion S2 in the 115th Brigade Support Battalion at Fort Hood. She and her husband love to stay active, dancing, traveling, and taking cruises, at least in the future. Dominique is also looking forward to her assignment as the Waco Recruiting Commander in Waco, Texas. Dominique, welcome and thank you for your service. Fellow graduates, we made it. We could not be here without the support of our families, friends, co-workers, team members, professors, and many others. We promised ourselves that we will rise up and pursue our higher education to reach our personal goals. I stand before you today as an American, a proud immigrant from Haiti, a United States soldier, and a graduate of the class of 2020. In 1999, my parents moved our family to the United States to provide us with better educational and economic opportunities. I was 11 years old when I immigrated to the United States of America. I was sure that I had made it big. Quickly, 
realized that I had not made it big, but I had hit the jackpot of opportunity. I realized there are no handouts. I will have to pull myself up to reach my goals, but I knew I could accomplish that here in the US. It was the end of the 90s, grunge music was fading, and MTV still played music videos. Y2K was just around the corner, and like many who came before us, it wasn't easy for immigrants without education. My family often stayed with family and friends until we were able to establish our lives firmly in Kansas City, Missouri. My sister Claudia joined the military and currently still serves as a captain in the United States Army. I was athletic and young, so I pursued my bachelor's degree in exercise science from the University of Missouri. Like my sister, I knew I wanted to serve this country, and I still do, also as a captain in the U.S. Army. This was my path, and each of us has a path to take to find ourselves. Things happen for a reason, and you learn that your path will make you stronger. I never thought I would stand in front of you as a commencement speaker to congratulate all of you for your accomplishments. And I couldn't be prouder of all of you who never gave up. Who would have thought a Haitian girl from Okai, Haiti will be standing in front of you to continue to inspire others to believe in themselves and spread the message that you can do it no matter what others says to you. Right now, you may be thinking about pursuing your next bachelor's, master's, or PhD, but do not know where to start. All I can say is take time to enjoy this moment and soak in the gravity of your successes. Spend the time with your family and friends to build memories that will last forever. Then, Take the next step towards your educational and life goals. In 2019, I ran my first marathon in the desert west of Las Vegas. It was hot in the middle of the summer and a difficult race for sure. I often think that race was very similar to education. Marathon are long races and you have to remind yourself that even a marathon begins with one step. We can truly say America is the lane of freedom and the lane of opportunity, hope, and dreams. It's also the lane of hard work and perseverance. I can see that in the diversity of our class. You hail from all over the world, and yet we are all here with our accomplishments in common. I wish you the best as you take on your next marathon. Stay strong to the challenges. Congratulations, good luck, and God bless you all. Thank you, Dominique. What a wonderful message. You're an inspiration to us all. Next, I welcome Mr. Aaron Rios to deliver the undergraduate class of 2020 speech. Aaron is the Director of Public and Government Relations at Walmart, where he's currently celebrating his 26th anniversary. He started his career with Walmart at age 18, where he quickly moved his way up through their operations team to serve as the market manager for 12 stores and over 4,000 associates. During his time in public affairs and government relations with Walmart, he's been responsible for 20 states in the Midwestern and Western business units. In October of 2015, he moved to his current role working on strategic initiatives across the United States. Aaron has a long history serving on nonprofit boards and is active in organizations targeting leadership and the development of youth. He began attending American Public University in November of 2015 through an educational partnership between Walmart and APU, following a more than 20 year break in his college studies. He graduated from APU in April with a bachelor's degree in management. Aaron lives in California with his wife, Connie, and they have an 18-year-old son, Dominic, a 14-year-old daughter, Brooklyn, and a five-year-old son, Ethan. Welcome, Aaron. Good morning, President Boston, Provost Smith, Board of Directors, faculty, fellow students, family, and friends. 
Well, I guess since we're having a virtual ceremony, I won't need the mask. I'd also like to recognize the many veterans and current military members present and applaud your selfless service to our country. We all come together today under the most unusual circumstances of our lifetimes to celebrate one of the most common events that occurs around the country each May, college graduation. I already had plane tickets booked for travel to Washington, D.C. to celebrate the commencement of my bachelor's degree with my family and along with all of you. I was excited that I had completed my final class on March 1st. I was eager to walk across the stage to experience the joy of a job well done and overcoming the adversity that spurred my educational journey again in 2015. That was well before it was clearly understood how efficiently the coronavirus pandemic had slipped beyond the borders of Wuhan, China. It has turned the world, including the United States as we know it, upside down. Who could have had the vision to anticipate how vital toilet paper, gloves, masks, and personal protective equipment would become to all of us this year? They are likely the hottest graduation gifts on all of your wish lists, too. We may have heard growing up about the sacrifices or the big issues that past generations, including our parents or grandparents, experienced. That includes events like World War I and the Spanish flu of the 1910s, the Great Depression of the 1930s, or World War II in the 40s. It also involves the Civil Rights Movement and Vietnam War of the 60s, the AIDS epidemic or the Wall Street crash in the 80s, or even the World Trade Center bombings or the Great Recession of the 2000s. After more than a decade of recovery from the Great Recession, and just when it appeared things were unstoppable, including the economy and low unemployment. We now find ourselves living through the 20th pandemic in the last nearly 1900 years, but the sixth pandemic in just the last 40. What is the beginning of 2020 and the COVID-19 pandemic provided us so far? Fear, uncertainty, unemployment, concern, heartache, and adversity. And just six short weeks through the end of April, we've seen 30 million Americans apply for unemployment. That's nearly more than all that applied during the entire 18 months of the Great Recession of the 2000s. And it continues still today as the country and the world looks to move on from the coronavirus pandemic. Perhaps we should also ask ourselves what else COVID-19 has given us so far this year. In my opinion, it has brought us faith, hope, love, appreciation, and a belief that we will overcome the challenges and adversity before us as a global society. Throughout history, mankind has had a way of overcoming our worst fears, the biggest trials, and the hardest obstacles to better ourselves and the lives of our families and children. Today, we have faith in our healthcare workers and hope for a cure from our most talented scientists. We also have love for our family, friends, and neighbors and appreciation for essential workers putting themselves at risk so that we can overcome this disease. Out of the worst always comes the best when we demand it as a society, as communities, and as individuals. As Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor once said, there are uses to adversity and they don't reveal themselves until tested. Whether it's serious illness, financial hardship, or the simple constraint of parents who speak limited English. Difficulty can tap unexpected strengths. I believe that out of the ashes of the coronavirus, we will find new cures, new heroes, and even new beginnings. Much like we will all experience as a result of our new degrees we celebrate today. For me, my journey at American Public University began on November 2nd, 2015 one month after learning that my employer for 22 high-performing years had eliminated my position along with over 400 others. I had 60 days to find a new role or accept a severance package. I had worked there since I was 18 as an essential worker, starting as a part-time overnight stalker. I had moved for the company five times, worked in 10 stores, districts, or markets, and held 12 positions in my career at that point. I was currently holding a senior middle management position with responsibility for a quarter of the country. 
The fact that I was able to accomplish it without a college degree was surprising, yet very gratifying. After the call about my position being eliminated, reality set in quickly. What was I going to do? I had three kids and a wife to take care of. What would happen to our house and my career? Then it really hit me. I don't have a college degree, so who will hire me? One thing became very clear. I was going back to college to get my degree. Despite the setback, I learned a few things over the years that I'd like to share with you as you consider your future and embark on a career of your own. First, find mentors. Without them, you'll be navigating uncharted waters and may never find your destination. I have many mentors and most of them have become some of the best friends I have in life. Second, consider your options and take smart risks. Dream big. Some of the best accomplishments I have ever had started as a dream or an idea. Be prepared. As they say in the military, prior proper planning prevents pitifully poor performance. Be firm, be fair, and be consistent, especially if you're a supervisor. Everyone is replaceable, even when you don't think that you are. Be nice to everyone. You never know who you'll be working for or reporting to, and you may find your future spouse or partner at work. I know I did. Call your parents. They will be the best advisors and listeners in times of prosperity and adversity. Finally, everything happens for a reason. We may not always understand it at the time, but sometime in the future, you will. I recently celebrated my 26th year of employment with the same company that I discussed earlier. You see, Walmart and I have had a great career over that time frame, and I am thankful for all they have taught me over the years. More importantly, I have been able to set the example for my kids who are celebrating with me today regarding prioritizing education. I have always told them that school comes first, even as in my case, if your graduation comes 23 years later than you originally planned. The great Aristotle once said, education is an ornament in prosperity and a refuge in adversity. May the adversity you overcame to get here and the adversity we are all experiencing collectively in the current world impacted by the coronavirus. Fuel the prosperity that will be our futures. Class of 2020, today we will walk beyond adversity as graduates of APU and AMU. Congratulations, best wishes, and thank you. Thank you, Aaron. We appreciate your words of wisdom. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. I'd like to again welcome Dr. Wallace Boston to perform the conferring of the degrees. President Boston, these candidates have fulfilled all the requirements for their respective degrees and it is with great pleasure I present the class of 2020 to you. Good morning, class of 2020. This is certainly the most unique way I have ever performed the ceremony of the tassel turn. And even though we cannot be together, this momentous occasion must be acknowledged. We may not be physically together today, but please know that the entire university is cheering you during today's virtual ceremony, just as we have been throughout your academic journey. The turning of the tassel is a symbol of accomplishment. Moving the tassel from the right side of your cap to the left is an outward sign that you have completed the requirements for your degree. We will go through the tassel turn three times today, one for each degree level. According to standard commencement ceremonial protocols, each program level will be acknowledged in much the same way we would if we were together. We begin with our master's level candidates. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and the Board of Trustees, I confer upon each of you the master's degree with all of the privileges and responsibilities thereunto. Graduates, as an outward symbol of your achievement, you may now change your tassels from the right side of your cap to the left side. All those watching and participating, I encourage you to applaud these graduates, post your congratulatory messages on social media, call each other or text. 
We are proud of you. Next, bachelor candidates, prepare for your moment. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and board of trustees, I confer upon each of you the bachelor's degree with all of the privileges and responsibilities thereunto. Graduates, as an outward symbol of your achievement, you may now change your tassels from the right side of your cap to the left side. Again, all of those watching and participating, I encourage you to applaud these graduates, post your congratulatory messages on social media, call each other or text. We are proud of you all too. Finally, our associate candidates, please prepare for your moment. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and board of trustees, I confer upon each of you the associate's degree with all of the privileges and responsibilities thereunto. Graduates, as an outward symbol of your achievement, you may now change your tassels from the right side of your cap to the left. Again, all of those watching and participating, I encourage you to applaud these graduates, post your congratulatory messages on social media, call each other or text. We are so proud of you. The American Public University System's Board of Trustees, directors, faculty, and staff, extend our congratulations to you, our graduates, and now our alumni on the achievement of your educational goals. We have been privileged to support you on your endeavors. We wish you only the best in the future and encourage you to stay in touch. There are so many wonderful opportunities to stay connected to the university and your fellow graduates, such as participation in the university directory, involvement in social media conversations, our peer mentoring program, volunteering and other co-curricular and leadership programs, being an active member of your alumni community, and much more. No matter where your accomplishments take you, we will always be here for you. Thank you, families and friends of our graduates, for the support you have given them and for being present at this virtual celebration. We hope you've enjoyed the commencement today. Stay safe, stay well, and have a wonderful day. Welcome to the commencement. Congratulations, graduates.